What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news, join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including WWE interested in a huge wrestler, who is AEW's big signing, is the LWO splitting up, Edge reveals the reason for leaving WWE, WWE Hall of Famer Snoop Dogg quits smoking, Becky Lynch is the worst Jeopardy player in history, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new website, WrestleAmia.com. Now let's see the intro and get straight into our top story. Now our top story looks at WWE interested in a huge wrestler. Now it seems that there's talk of late of renewed interest from WWE with signing Kazuchika Okada. Okada is one of the greatest in-ring talents in the world and the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter has indicated that WWE have renewed interest in the talented star. Meltzer writes, We've heard some talk of late regarding Kasichika Okada. Obviously, they've had interest in him for years, but he's always been loyal to New Japan. The pitch is now that he's 36 and he's close with Nakamura and Nakamura has worked years in WWE and it's far easier on his body. The idea is that WWE is the one thing Okada has never done and he's done everything he can do in New Japan. He then continued by saying, One person who buzzed us about the renewed interest in Okada said that one of the reasons Nakamura is getting a renewed push is to show Okada that the regime is not going to treat Japanese like the stereotypical children-like role, although Tozawa is still playing that role, because Vince does are with people who don't speak fluent English. But this is a new regime. Okada is a name always brought up, but there's no indication there's anything new to his other than there's been more talk of late. Now the possibility of Okada in WWE is an exciting one, and we'll keep you posted on how the story plays out. Next up, who is AEW's big signing? Now, there have been several names mentioned as to who AEW is teasing will sign the company at full gear. There have been several names mentioned including Mercedes Money, Will Ospreay and even some recently released WWE superstars such as Dolph Ziggler. However, we want to remind viewers that other released superstars are still believed to be under a non-compete clause. However, now Fightful Select is weighing in on the possible signings, essentially ruling out one big one. AEW talent themselves were speculating this week between a number of talent, including Mercedes Money. Though we've heard as far back as August that there were working plans for the two sides to work together, the plan isn't to announce her this weekend at AEW Full Gear. If people in the company are to believed, several have stated that when asked, it was indicated that Full Gear announcement isn't Mercedes. If not Mercedes, then who? Another possibility is Will Ospreay, New Japan Pro Wrestling's ace whose contract is believed to expire around February 2024. On paper, Osprey couldn't sign with AEW until his New Japan deal is up, but given AEW and New Japan's good business relationship, some fans and pundits believe New Japan may have allowed Osprey to negotiate with AEW and they'll let AEW announce he's going to be all elite when his contract expires. However, some recent comments from Osprey have others saying not so fast. He recently competed against Josh Alexander on the 16th November episode of Impact Wrestling and he doubled down by releasing a video with this sensational statement. I'm sending massive thanks to everyone who made this comeback possible, because let's be real, at one point I thought Impact was a sinking ship. It looked like there was no lifeline for Impact Wrestling, but then a new ownership came along and then the talent backstage. The talent. I don't want to come to Impact Wrestling, I want to come to TNA. So before I round this up, before February strikes, you better make sure that as much as I love Impact, I need to step foot in a TNA ring. Osprey is in high demand with the WWE said to be interested in him, and as you can see, they're not alone. With Mercedes money possibly out of consideration and Osprey's destination unknown, could AEW have someone else in mind? Well, our next story suggests who fans could see put pen to paper at full gear. Next up, Ronda Rousey's latest match. Rowdy Ronda is back in wrestling, but for how long? Rousey recently ended her second campaign in WWE, but a recent indie appearance led to speculation. The baddest woman on the planet is considering a return to the ring, and now her second appearance in the ring has fans talking even more. Wrestling Observer is reporting that Rousey competed on the 16th November at the Wrestling Revolver Unreal show. Teaming with Marina Shafir, she faced off against AEW's Athena and Billy Starks in the main event. At one point during the match, Rousey took a suplex from Starks and landed on her head, but continued the match anyway. The finish of the match had Athena attack Rousey with the Ring of Honor Women's Championship, ending the match in a no contest. It's unclear whether Rousey's two wrestling appearances are just a matter of her having fun or preparation for a return to active competition. Some Rousey fans' antennas went up when wrestler Rocky Romero said he'd love to see Rousey compete in New Japan Pro Wrestling, a comment that some saw as an invitation from New Japan for her to compete there. While that's not the case, Rousey does seem like a good fit for New Japan Pro Wrestling, which prides itself on athleticism as opposed to sports entertainment. 
However, some fans believe that Rousey's appearances are a warm-up for a debut in AEW. If so, it could add some eyeballs to AEW's hit-and-miss women's division, depending on how she's booked. Next up is the LWO splitting up. A fan saw the group Santos Escobar turn heel on Rey Mysterio on last week's SmackDown, setting the stage for a feud between Escobar and Rey. Well, that's when he's ready to return. However, what's next for the popular faction on the blue brand? Well, Dave Meltzer noted on the recent Wrestling Observer newsletter that it looks like the WWE Universe could see a civil war between the group's members. It's going to be group versus group. It's going to be Santos and some partners versus Rey with some partners. I don't know what they're doing with the LWO name, which side gets it. Maybe they're going to feud over the name. I don't know. Meltzer speculated on who would sign with whom. It's going to be a group versus group thing. Obviously, Carlito will be with Rey, and Santos will be with Cruz del Toro and Joaquin Wilde, and I don't know where Zelina is going, and that's the situation there. What do you guys think of a civil battle between the LWO? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Edge reveals the reason for leaving the WWE. Adam Copeland is now all elite, but some fans are still curious as to why the former superstar left his Edge persona to work in AEW. The Radar Superstar recently chatted with the New York Post about several topics, including his decision to leave WWE. While Copeland enjoyed his 25-year run in WWE, he said the new role for WWE had in mind for him differed from what he wanted. According to Copeland, they wanted to use him as a special attraction, limiting his appearances to make them more special. Unfortunately, that didn't match what Adam wanted. I think from their perspective, and I see their perspective entirely, if we bring you out too much, then it's not special anymore. I get that. I really do. So it was for limited dates. With that though, you can't really get into a proper story. You can't really dive into what this thing could be. Copeland has repeatedly talked about how he sees himself as a storyteller and such, and he wants to capitalize on what time he has left in his career. For me, looking at it, it's like I'm 49. I've got very, very limited time to capitalize on what I have left, because three months off, that's three months where I could have done some stuff. I know it sounds great on paper, and don't get me wrong, it wasn't a horrible place to be, but if I'm going to do this, man, I want to do it. I want to try and craft some stories and do what I can while I can. Copeland is ecstatic about the opportunity for one last run with his best friend Christian Cage. Edge discussed how he thought the two men's reunion at the 2020 Rumble might be their last opportunity to work together, especially after Cage headed to AEW. While the two are on opposite sides of the ring, Copeland said they're pumped about the story that they've crafted themselves. The Radar Superstar once again reminded fans that he knows his time is limited. So limited time, yeah, because I'm far closer to the end of my career than I am to the beginning but I still got some good stories that I can tell and a whole new roster of people who I've never touched before. Next up, John Cena's next project. And does John Cena ever stop producing content? Cena recently ended his last run in the WWE at the Crown Jewel is back in Hollywood and he recently revealed his latest project to the entertainment industry's news site Variety. The 16-time world champion has a new TV show titled What Drives You, where he interacts with celebrities about their favorite ride. What do you think of Cena's latest project though? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE Hall of Famer Snoop Dogg quits smoking. A Snoop Dogg has made a big and bold announcement revealing he's stopping smoking. The WWE Hall of Famer took to X to state that he's decided to give up smoking. Now we wish Snoop well as he seeks to better his health. Let's just see how long it lasts though. And finally, Becky Lynch is the worst Jeopardy player in history. Now last but not least, Becky Lynch is a hot commodity in the wrestling world and apparently she's won on the game show circuit. The man recently appeared on the episode of Celebrity Jeopardy and she delivered in the ratings. Ringside News reported, in Celebrity Jeopardy Season 2 Episode 7, Becky Lynch participated as one of the contests and this particular episode marked the pinnacle of the season in terms of viewership and ratings. It attracted a substantial audience with 4.235 million viewers tuning in and it achieved a commendable 0.51 rating. However, Becky didn't do so well in the actual game. She squared off against Macaulay Culkin and former Saturday Night Live star Rachel Drage. Lynch may have set the record for the worst performance, as the X account noted, Yes, this is believed to be the first instance of a player giving zero correct responses through 60 clues. They broke down the number of correct and incorrect responses by each contestant, saying Macaulay had 25 correct, 3 incorrect. Rachel, 20 correct, 2 incorrect. Becky, 0 correct. Five incorrect. And did you guys see that episode? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.